In this question, we're looking at the total area of a pentagonal prism. prism. The total area is made up of the lateral area, which is right here, all the outside here. That's a lateral area, including this. Now, even though it's sitting on its side, that does not mean the bottom is the base. The base is always polygons that are opposite each other and parallel. In this case, it's a regular polygon. So it's made up of five congruent rectangles and two bases. This is the area, of course. And the bases in this situation happen to be pentagons. So what you need to know is the formula to find the area of a rectangle and the formula to find the area of a pentagon. If you don't have either of these, then you're in trouble. So we'll do the first one. We will do the lateral area first. There are various short forms to write lateral area. I like to use AL, lateral area. So this is our five rectangles. So the area of one rectangle, you always write down the formula. There's no sense skipping steps. Area equals base times height. The base of my rectangle is 3. Now with a rectangle, it doesn't matter what you use for the base of the height, as long as you include both measurements. So my base is 3, and my height is 5. You know that because I have a 5 here, and the 3 is showing me it's the width, or the, actually the height of the prism. So 3 times 5 equals 15, and the units here are centimeters. So we have 15 square centimeters. Now to keep things straight, I'm going to do the total for the lateral area over here. So I have five rectangles times 15, because each of them is 15, which gives me 75 square centimeters. I'm going to put a sur an oval around this because that tells me that is important information for the rest of my problem. Now I have to find the area of the bases. I'm going to write the area of bases. Again, there's a short form that you can use. Large, capital A for area, small b for base. Keep it nice and clean. So I'll find the area for one base first, the area of any polygon. You have varieties of this formula. I like to use san, s-a-n divided by two. You can use can over two, a-n-s divided by two. You can also do the sum of the area of all the triangles. It's your choice. S stands for the length of the side, represents the length of the side, which is 5 centimeters. A is the apothem of the polygon, which is 3.5 centimeters, excuse me, 3.4 centimeters. And the number of sides, it's a pentagon, so it is 5. Always remember to divide by 2. That's a common mistake. When you put these in your calculator, do 5 times 3.4 times 5, hit enter just to be safe, and then divide by 2. And your answer is 42.5 square centimeters. Now, I have two bases, so over on the side here, I'm going to multiply 2 times 42.5, which gives you 85 square centimeters. It's important to keep these things organized. This is very clear. My last step is to find the total area, which is the sum of the lateral area plus the two bases. And up here, I figured in that I had five rectangles and I have two bases, so I can just add these together. But you have to show this, 75 plus 85 equals 160 square centimeters. You absolutely must put your units, and I put a rectangle around the final answer to make it clear.